We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. Leonard's on his way to the ring, and you can just tell what kind of night he intends this to be. He's just brimming with confidence. Alvarez is approaching the ring now, and this ring walk can tell you so much. Look at the focus on his face. All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. We are underway here, and we've heard from everybody that speed is going to be the big factor. Leonard's got it. Plenty of it. Yeah, now it's up to his opponent to come up with something. Maybe go to the body, take it away, slow him down. Chico's left now getting into the mix. Side to side, move to head. Alvarez is right. Leonard's been hurt by that shot. Teddy, I think he's going to go down. I think he's going to go down after getting tagged right there. He doesn't know where to go. I mean, he's like a guy that's caught in a hailstorm. He's trying to get to the other side of the street, but he just doesn't know where it is now. Alvarez's right hand scores well. Hit the body. Let it go. Not much action as he just ties up. Leonard's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Chico's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Halfway through round number one. What? What? Nothing there on the punch by Sugar Ray Leonard. Teddy, what are your expectations? What do you think we're going to see out of Sugar Ray tonight? Oh, you're going to see what you always see to a certain extent. Blinding ability. Just great talent. You know, he has power, he has speed. You know, and a lot of times when you see that, you think about the head. You know, a lot of those guys that are real speed merchants, like Sugar Ray Leonard, they go right upstairs to that top. But he pays attention to the body. Don't be surprised if you see some body work. Sugar Ray Leonard's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Count down the final moments of this round. Good jab from Sugar Ray. 
from the... Okay, listen to me. When he misses with a punch, count him. I need you to box you go. Wait okay. for him and boom! Cut his movement off. Keep keep counterattacking him, okay? When he throws, make a miss and count. The jab is really working good, all right? Just keep using the jab. Got to keep the jab moving and push him off. It's like a whole new fighter out there. Look at him as we start this round. Remember what happened to him in the last round. Now he's up on his toes. Yeah, well, remember what happened to him in the last round. That's what we say, but... He doesn't say that. He's putting that out. He's putting it into the rear view mirror. He's going forward down the road with a lot of hope, a lot of vigor, a lot of confidence. Nice block by Chico. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. Good way to protect the midsection. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. You see him holding on. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Everybody found so much out about Sugar Ray Leonard on that night back in 1981 when he came up with the 14th round TKO of Tommy the Hitman Hearns. Remember Dundee that night? Remember Angelo Dundee in the corner of Sugar Ray Leonard? Yeah, he said, you're blown it, kid. And of course, he was right, and he responded to that. Sugar Ray Leonard, in that fight, he had to deal with two fights. You know, early on, he was dealing with Tommy Hearns, this real big guy, this puncher. He had to box a little bit. And then later on, Hearns got hurt, started moving, and then Leonard had to be the executioner. He had to all of a sudden go after the guy that he thought he was going to be boxing all night. Nice! Nice! Sound defense. Good block that time by Alvarez. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Alvarez's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Nice work, nice work. Scored well up top. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Leonard's punch is far off the target. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Beautiful. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is... You're fighting his rhythm, okay? Don't fight him, you fight. There's no need to fight his style. You're not gonna win that way. And round number three is underway. Flush right hand to the head. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Leonard's nailed by a huge hook. Hook, hook. Move your head. Solid hook upstairs. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. 
Sugar Ray Leonard's left landing well. Alvarez's defense is paying off now. She goes in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. You know, everybody associates Sugar Ray Leonard not only with the championships and the Olympic glory, but with the comebacks. Coming out of retirement to fight. He had the detached retina, took three years off, and then came back against the marvelous one, Marvin Hagler, in a fight, Teddy, that to this day, people will still argue over who won. Well, Ray won. Yeah, Ray got it. I mean, that's the main thing. You open up the record book, and you're going to see Sugar Ray Leonard as the winner in that fight. but. What he really did was he created a scenario. He understood at that point in his life what he could and couldn't do. He couldn't fight for three minutes. So he survived for early parts. He stayed out of damage, out of harm's way, and he stole ends of rounds. Just holds on there. Leonard's effort has been admirable, but I don't think he's getting the results he would like to get here. He's tiring himself. Yeah, what I think is starting to happen here, Joe, we saw him throwing a lot of punches. That's a big right hand. here and so are we what a stunning turn of events what's good for the goose is good for the gander his opponent wanted the body he wouldn't give it to him don't get careless okay don't fight his fight how you doing you keep your hands up don't worry now right i just i need you to focus and keep your hands up Keep working the jab, okay? Double up the jab and just keep moving. You okay? Good, I need you to use your feet, all right? Move around. Him. Round number four is underway. Teddy's got it a clean sweep. Cut. He's in bad shape. Teddy, he may go down just by stumbling the way he's doing. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. And a big punch puts him down. One, two, three, four, five. Sugar Ray Leonard's back up on his feet. Let's see what he has now. Alvarez's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Oh, a good right hand by Chico. You can tell he's just looking to survive. Leonard's holding his opponent right now, just hugging him. Yeah, he's doing what he has to do. Look, they work on this in the gym, Joe. We look at all the things where you work on the pads, you work on the heavy bag, putting punches together, but you work on this, on moments when you're in trouble and when you have to survive. That's it. That's it. Scoring with the right hand by Sugar Ray Leonard. 90 seconds to go here in this round. 
Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Keep your head moving. Early on in this fight, Worst one of the, the things I'm going to look for is who's the more well-rounded fighter one. offensively? Who can do it all with all their punches? Well, you look for that in any sport, in any profession. You know, you look at a quarterback, you know, in football, the great ones, they can throw deep, but they can throw the short patterns. They can throw the out, the Use in patterns. Same thing with a fighter. Gages in the clinch. Nice work on the right hand by Chico. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. And something you gotta start early and stay with. 10 seconds to go in the fourth. Alvarez is showing you a little defensive skill there, able to move away from that punch. Leonard's productivity really dropped off in that last Relax. round. And with a lack of offense, came some sloppy me? defense. Just look at his just face now. Yeah, you know what? He should look at his trainers, too, because I always say that about this business. Where are the teachers? Where are the trainers? He should be able to get away from punches. With his experience, he should do a better job than he's been doing tonight. Relax, relax. Take a deep breath. I need you to focus. Anticipate his punch. Start of a new round, and it seems like a whole new man. Hard to believe that this is the fighter that was just knocked down in the last round. Well, he's got some of those great recovery skills, kind of like Arturo Gatti used to always have. You know, he was a guy that he could be batted, he could look like he was barely hanging on, and then all of a sudden, the next round, he looked good. Sugar Ray Leonard, look at that. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? Ooh. Back up on his You're feet. What will he look like move, in the next move. few moments of this fight? That's the big question. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Not able to land the headshot. Leonard's got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has big shot there. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's over. The fight is over. Leonard's unable to beat the count. Knockout loss for him. Oh, that's a big win. That's a big win that's going to get everybody in the division's attention. Chico's power ends this early. You see results like this sometimes from combination, but one shot? Wow. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.